Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to hopefully resolve an error you might be getting on your computer, specifically if you're receiving a blue screen of death and it says required device isn't connected or cannot be accessed, followed by an error code. So pretty much we're going to be trying to access the BIOS to resolve this issue. So if you're able to sign into Windows or get to the Windows login screen, um, you can hold down the shift key while restarting your computer. Also, if you are unable to boot into Windows and you're trying to access the BIOS, some computer manufacturers, specifically motherboard manufacturers, will have it so that you have to press the F2 or the F6 key. So I'm going to just restart my computer by holding down the shift key and then left clicking on restart. But assuming most of you guys are probably not going to be able to do this, um, just follow the advice I just said. Okay, so now that I'm under the boot menu after I started tapping the F10 key, I'm going to navigate down to enter setup using my arrow keys on my keyboard, and then I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard once I'm over the setup selection. Now using your arrows on your keyboard, and you can also follow the key at the bottom of this window, scroll over to the boot settings. Now we see that there should be a few options on the left side. Depending on your computer, these settings might look a little bit different. The only thing that we're really trying to do here is make sure our hard drive is the first boot device and has boot priority. So in order to move that, if for some reason the hard drive is second or third, you know that you've selected it once it's turned white, because that means that your mouse, if you had one, would have been highlighted over it. And now using the plus and minus keys on your keyboard, you're going to click on the plus sign once you're over the hard drive and you're going to move that to the first position and then once you're done doing that you're going to hit F10 on your keyboard which will save the configuration changes and then you're going to hit enter on your keyboard once you're over the yes selection and then once your computer restarts you should be good to go so I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video goodbye